If not, we'll try a reset process. Because this happened when I when I swapped out the Netflix battery, the big battery. Um, it did the same thing. It kind of I don't like it froze up like this. It won't. It didn't want to boot. Still no display test or anything on the uh, the top uh, top LED is on right up under there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, you can. I'm going to hit the reset up here. Top one cleared. Nothing on the display yet. I'll give it 15, 20 seconds. Alright, power reset. Alright, top one went off. Let's see if the second one goes out. I'm gonna have to reset it again. Nothing on the, the LCD display out there, the, the blue display. Oh, it's booting. Display test, test. Nope. Testing memory. <laughs> Which is what I expected, RAM error. Hit reset. Close the door. Game prom. That's expected. Game prom. E, game E prom. CRC mismatch. B O one. So let's reset. Non-recoverable data error. And that's what I would have expected to. Power off. Power on. Let's see if we get a clear board. Bottom two orange LEDs. Reset. Operation fault. Close the door. Do another reset. Close the door. Some critical data may be lost. It is wiping the board clean. We gotta do it again. So, another reset. Press test switch for two to three seconds. Let me show you. It's about to reset the uh, the uh, memory EEPROMs. This is going to wipe it. Please close the main door. Without that battery in there, it's probably going to give me another RAM error once it's done. Because it's not going to save the, uh, the data. Main battery low, which is what I expect because I disconnected it. So, Maybe the board is okay. Um, I don't know why it's still complaining about uh, the MB door. I don't, I don't get that. 
units closed. Door open, main battery low. All the credits are gone that were originally. I put a 20 and a 1 in to test the bill uh, acceptor and um, disconnecting that battery and doing the reset that I just did um, wiped all that out. So it's fresh state on the board. Unfortunately, there's still a, a problem apparently with the door sensor. So let's take the board back out, solder it back on, go through the reset process again and see if it still complains about the door. See if there's a way I can get this positioned. Sorry, this thing back down. That needs to be bent out a little bit. There is a big pile of junk right there. Alright, so we tin this lead. stuff on there. There we go. Reconnected. And I'll do this one anyway just just so that they both have power like they're supposed to. A cold solder joint looks like there has um, there has been adhesion, uh, but after a little bit of vibration, um, it's barely um, barely bonded and it pops off. Or is extremely porous. You also can see that if you have um, not enough heat or if it's dirty, um, it'll look, it won't it'll look dull. It won't look shiny. Let's go try it now. Alright, we got the hook, the battery, button battery, coin cell, or whatever, battery back on, so let's see what happens. Give it another spin. Straight to display test. See if we get a RAM error. Yep. Close the door. Game, same thing. Game, the prompts here for mismatch. We 
reset it again. Close the door. Unrecoverable there. Data error. Reset. Some critical data will be lost. Reset again. I'll press the test switch for two to three seconds. That's this white button inside. One, two, three. Close the main door, initializing. Same freaking errors. I'm not getting low paper now. Now I'm just getting uh, door open MB. Hmm. That is not the belly switch. Sensor's optical. It's in the door. Um, there's a sensor right here. It's an optical sensor. There's a lens on this side. Make sure it's clean. And there's also one on the door right here. Where that little brass piece is. It's actually a... Uh, there's a photo... Um, diode, and then there's a emitting diode. There's a receiver and a sender, basically. And I haven't actually looked at the part that's in it, but what I saw, what I've read, um, this is the actual. Uh, it does have a lens on it. I can feel it. So that is most likely the receiver. So it'll collect it at different at different angles. So let's see what happens if we give it some light. All right, well, there's one thing we can do on this machine. That's not responding. How about the door? through um, input tests and you can either hit the button down there or if we hit reset let's see if it puts this in okay it is it's in setup mode so spin reels on this one selects what's on the screen, play three credits, is your back. So this is your enter and this is your go back. Um, then you have, um, it'll actually will light up the buttons you can use in the current menu. So right now, see changes illuminated. Um, you can change between the options with this button. So we've got uh, accounting, IO test, which is what we'll go into, number four and number two. The other settings uh, aren't accessible with the way this ROM is set up, so I may have to wipe it with a uh, reset chipset uh, kit that I'll have to order. Uh, but if I'm going to do that, I'll probably get whatever the current uh, reset key set is for the version board I get. This is a Super Stepper, uh, the last three I believe is 502. The, the most current version for the S2000 I believe is 504. Um, and I've seen both out there. They're all about the same price, about 100 bucks. So I might as well get the most recent um, board version. But anyway, let's go into IO test, tests, spin rails, uh, input tests. Uh, is that what we want? Cash out is illuminated, but it's very dim. So you can go up or down. This is going up, this is going down. So we can do input tests, we can do sound tests, um, segmented display, which is your uh, your inputs over here, those dot matrix display, which is this one, it displays all 
lines and bars to make sure the display works. So those are our options. We want input test, <coughs> door input test, which isn't the door itself, it's all of the buttons on the door itself. We don't need to do that. So let's go cabinet input. Let's see what's under cabinet. Okay, slot handle, we can test the slot handle. I'm gonna pull it. I heard the solenoid click. That works just fine. Let's go to the next. Coin out. Uh, don't have one for coin out because there's no hopper. No hopper, no hopper. Um, programming setup switch. I'm assuming that's on the MPU. I'm not worried about that. Meter connect, reversible hopper. Box key level. We don't need that. So now I need to go back, so I'll hit the playthrough credits. <coughs> <clears throat> we don't want cabinet. Processor inputs or door. Let's look at processor input tests. Light pin, we don't have a light pin. Main door. Look at it flickering. There's something wrong with that circuit. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. Battery about went out on me. So the main door should not be blinking back zero and one like that. That means it's turning on and off, which makes absolutely no sense. I lift it up, I lift it up the latch. It is no longer engaged. Why is it doing that? It's not fully engaging. What if I shine a light into it? <coughs> So since it's optic, maybe the light will make it come on. Yep, so I have my um, cell phone flashlight on it. If I set it on there, let's see what happens if it's just barely illuminated. You know what? I think the emitter is uh, not strong enough. Maybe it needs to be replaced because the obviously the receiver's working fine. If I hold my, my, uh, my light on there, close enough it stays on hmm. that leads me to believe that uh, <clears throat> transmitter side of this this thing is going bad Sure the lens is cleaned really well on it. Now it's good. And you gotta slam it hard get it to line up. Yeah, it's it's not lining up right every time. I wonder if we should adjust that. Let's see. Let's see if we can. We'll leave it in, de in debug mode for now. Let's see what we can do as far as uh, alignment on these things. So, this is the down position, and it wants to rest a little bit up. So maybe we need to adjust that. Um, we need to adjust this right here. Let's see if I can loosen these two screws. Maybe we can move that up just a little bit. I'll just grab the uh, driver. Oh yeah, let's move it up just about that much. Let's see if that works a little better. Go over here. Let's see what happens now. Close latch. Now it's. 
too high, if I lift it up just a little bit, it's got to be spot on. If I go too far down, there's a sweet spot right there. I need to drop it down just a little bit. Transmitter does work, then. Yep, still a little bit too high. It needs to come down just a little bit. Well, um, let me open and close it a couple more times. Make sure that's where we need the alignment. Handle it. The lights didn't go all the way down. Here we go. It's not blinking. Let's try it again. Not all the way down. Need to adjust that door. Well, I think that's good. Let's. Uh, we don't have a coin drop door, attendant key switch. We do have, that's a one. That's the reset switch up here on the side on um, top of the cabinet. Upper part of the cabinet on the side above the uh, slot handle. So if we touch my cheater wires together, we can see that works fine. We know that works fine because we've been resetting it. Operator switch, logic board, Bill validator door is gonna be one. It's crimped together, bypassed. Low battery one. It looks like those, both of those batteries are uh, gonna be a problem. The reels look fine, but we, you know, you can test um, the five the optic on it. So reel one is over here. That one's fine. This is two. That may cause a tilt. Yeah, that one, unless that's it, that may be encoded differently. Um, or maybe not, oh, I'm, I'm still on three. Okay, yeah, that was fine. If there is an issue with it, when it resets the uh, reels, after power on, you'll get a uh, um, a real tilt issue show up on the uh, display. And we don't have all those reels. We're back to the beginning, so let's power it off. Power it back on. Make sure the door is locked. Reels are good. I think that board's going bad. I mean, uh, constant door and reel tilt issues like this 
um, from what I've read, are a sign of the of the the board going bad. I give up. <laughs> 